Hello there, welcome to part one of two videos on rag time. The first one, we're going to talk about the timing, so it's not going to be long and complicated. And part two is going to be giving you something to actually play. I'm also going to give you a technical exercise uh, in this video as well. So I think you're going to find it quite useful. As always, likes, comments, subscriptions are welcome. Have a look at my video management website, Waterpinism Syllabus, Pat's Patreon, all the links and other goodies are below. Now, um, rag time is often taught as being a straight feel. So if I take uh, the, the melody from uh, uh, Maple Leaf Rag, it would be straight. So we don't want to only play ragtime like that. And if you listen to the great Scott Joplin, he used to play swing. Ragtime can be swung. Maybe you never thought about that. So uh, there's two ways to practice this, straight and swing, but what to practice? You're going to use one finger on each hand and you just simply do this on any note, doesn't matter. You could even use a metronome without the left hand, but I recommend using both hands. Let's just do a D. You're just going to set your tempo like this, maybe a bit slower, like that. And you want to drill this particular sort of rhythmic pattern, which is used in you know, at least 80% of whatever you'll ever play. Uh, in ragtime because ragtime is based on triads and it follows this kind of rhythm that I'm going to give you this pattern this feel so you're going to master this that maybe listen a couple of times now you can't cheat with any scores and looking at anything and learning it theoretically nonsense you need to feel music so let me do it really slowly for you. Like that. Uh, because the technique I'm going to give you is going to require you to do that. So that's kind of part one of the video. Get that down. You can do it the other way as well. But uh, the, the idea is to do this. You're going to take a octave. And you're going to take a triad, major triad, and minor if you want, but we'll deal with major for now. And you're going to do that pattern with the triad in this way. So, I'll just show you the pattern first without the left hand. The third octave, third, fifth octave. So, let me just do that again. So, just get that part down first. I'll just put that with the left hand. It always starts on the half beat because it's, it's it's syncopation, right? So it's it's that kind of feel. So that's the first part, and then the next part is third octave, third fifth octave. So second part. Uh, let me just do it from the beginning, from the beginning. And then you'll normally finish with a third and then an octave. So. You absolutely have to master that if you are to have any chance in playing ragtime. When you've got that down, try to swing it. And it's hard to explain this in words. It's something that you have to feel. It's like one of my favorite sentences when someone asks, well, how, how can I say it? What does an orange taste? There's 10,000 ways to describe the taste of an orange, but it's in the eating. That's what I'm trying to say. So let me just do it in a swing way. I'll do it straight and then swing. And then I'll play that part of maple leaf rag, straight and swing, and you'll see what I mean. It's beyond words, straight. Straight again. swing now I'll just do that uh, in that piece I'll do it straight first now swing swing. 
You see there's a lilt, there's a kind of little bounce to it and it's very hard to put into words, you just have to feel it. So why not just get used to feeling it by doing this? Or straight. Swing. There's just something in it that you can't put into words. The technical exercise to conclude this video is to chromatically do that technical exercise. If you want to put a left hand in, you can, but that's kind of more about part two. But if you want to do the left hand, you can just do like this. And if you want to just try to do an octave in your left hand, because that's going to be part of the other one, you might want to do this or do it together. So just see how it goes. So together. up a semitone to D flat, or go around the cycle of fourths, B flat, <laughs> B flat, or do it chromatically, and then maybe open it. It's your choice. But that's the exercise, your homework for this video, um, because part two, you're going to actually focus a bit more actually on the left hand, and I'm going to teach you how to do the stride and the variations of the stride, and you're just going to put that together with the, uh, the right hand pattern as well. You're going to be quite impressed by the end of video two, what you're able to do. Um, so that's it. That's your homework. Try that from C up to B, doing it however you want. Uh, like I say, you could just do it with one finger. <laughs> I forgot to do the octave. Uh, or the octave, or you can open it, it's your choice. Mess around, try it straight, try it swing. Might take a couple of days to get it into your body, into your bones, but it will come eventually. So there you go. Uh, so as always, like, comment, subscription is always welcome. Have a look to my Water Fingers and video management website and perhaps Patreon. And I'll see you in part two of this or another video. All the best and uh, bye for now.